Okay, so we created um, tentacles, leaves, we created this startup kind of growth. So let's do flowers next, few of them. And actually I'm going to reuse what we already created growth. So I'm control C, control V, copy paste this. Okay. I'm need to go to disconnect this right now. And let's rename this to flower. As well, we'll just go switch something more flowerish color. Okay, the reason I want to reuse some shape and effect, however, I want to create the petals to this. So we'll go now, connect it. Okay, let's go take this scroll and hide it. So we'll concentrate just on the flowers itself. It will also go in a stamp right here. And let's work on our flowers at this point. So we will, can see this spread all over. I want to bring them a little bit closer to top. So we'll probably maybe five and two. So we won't have that many of them. Um, we start need thinking more about polygons, how many will use them, all this effect. So and also we'll bring closer to the top. And not all the way to the top top one. So around here. Okay, I think rest will just leave it like this, except I want again set the coil up. Okay, take a second. I think this is about right. Give an ammo roll and uh, let's go now inside the flower. Okay, right here, this segment, so we'll just go 0 0.1, and we'll say 0 0.9. So semi what the same size about, um, and a segment link. Let's pop up this link a little bit higher, because we want to put those flowers out. And I want to reuse the shape of this only right here, this area, so I, I want to add petals going kind of around. The petals I can, I'm going in this case using, um, we heard multiple ways we can do. And we can use it higher world book, so, but we'll go use it segment and blades. It's what we're going to do. So right here, using petals and actually now let me make something shorter kind of easy to see. We'll go connect. Okay, right here. And inside the flower. So let's rework four. I think four will be okay right now. Um, it's six in some cases, but for um, polygon counts and for this tutorial, I'm just going to use it four. We'll have it right here, pad. Okay, four. We'll have it zero, so it's always four of them. And you'll notice right here, it's where we need to bring them together. So we need to bring them to about that place with so 0.8. If we type both of them, you can see they all end up right here. About the same place it's where we want to do. Okay, next I want them distributed equally. So we'll go on coil and put it 90% rotation. So you can see the kind of properly distributed. Okay, 30%, um, I will just add five. And the reason why I want them, just some petals maybe up and down kind of affecting. And we can also do this on a global scale as well afterwards. So they will look a little bit different. Maybe some open, some closet. Again, this is just to start on this. Okay, and you know what? Let me go actually right here. This flower segment modifying. Oops. And I'm just increasing this. Decreasing just to make slightly different shape so it will look 
more interesting this way. Okay, now pets will go blending with parent. So we'll have a nicer connection right here. Um, a link of the segment, let's say two for now. Okay, we'll see if we want to modify afterwards. Okay, as well, radius right here we want to modify. Remember, we want to actually shrink all the way to the zero. We don't want effect on the paddles. But we want to um, have it a little bit on the connections. It's almost like this. Let's click OK and enable blades. So next things with blades, we're going to um, just a little bit cut on startup right this area maybe not you know just oops, right here okay one wrong way one right here and we'll just go go all the way and try maybe work with the width and see how this will bring to us so right here this width and let's go on top as well and I want to create them kind of more nicely rounded effect. Okay, we'll go right here. Let's go switch this to the curve type. Okay, we'll start affecting here and also nicely round curve on top. Okay, let's click up to size. And we can increase with this one. So let's go maybe put it three. Okay, right here a little bit don't like how they angle it. So let's go inside. Okay, let's click OK. So that look a little bit better. Again, remember, sometimes you need to increase polygon so you can preview a little bit better how they will go together. So we'll do this way. And this smallness I'll do um, with other adjustment sections when we start working. And right here we can actually of bring them in a little bit more. Okay, that look. Kind of side right here. Side the leaf is look kind of nice. We can bring this edge actually to the top, and this maybe will look actually a bit better. Yeah, kind of encapsulating. You remember, we'll fix those ends when we start in a second. Okay, and let's go switch this to the curve so we have it a bit nicer lines going. Okay, we'll click OK, and right here with section height, same as before, I'm going just to bring both ends down so it is, does not affect them as much. Again, preview, we can increase resolution. This is, will be more look like. So, and you can see it's look nice flower. 
detect right here a little bit interception so when they come together we kind of need rework okay let me add small influence okay that look good and right here Let's add one more point and take this point and actually bring all the way down here. I want to create this nice smooth curve right on the end, so I don't want it to have um, kind of dropping. So it's what we're going to do. Okay, we'll go select again. And kind of like this. The nice curve right here close to the end. Okay, let's bring this one as well closer. Okay, we'll select. It's kind of like almost reposition till you find the best place for this and you know, let's set this maybe to 2.8 just reduce right here where the intersection happened to point four probably will be better yep so they look nicer and other things we also want to also scale them down Okay, overall, right here is our flowers. Okay, we can go um, overall on our flowers because it's influenced by the parent. So we can link is affecting our top and our pads. We can also set influence by parents as well. So the higher we're going, the link will decrease slightly. So it will create just some randomness kind of plants and I don't want them touch right here. So on this flower we'll go and we we'll actually let's say five. So instead go straight they will start kind of bending a little bit down right on the edge. You know, let's do eight. And uh, but not right on the end. So we'll go effect and reducing this effect right here. Okay, that's look good as well. We can do another things so right here. Instead 30, we can put 15. So let's create them up and opposite if you want them going opposite way you can switch it as well um, so we got 15 you know what let's go maybe go back to 35 and set this to 15 so we'll have a little bit random angles a little bit more for our pedals Okay, so between this and our other grove, let's place them together. So you can see we have a kind of interesting plant. Um, remember, save um, your work. And at this point, we can go ahead and just enable. You can see it will take longer time to, um, because we had all these different components in that we're building. So right here is what we have it so far. Okay. The next we're going to build some pods, some bin pods hanging around. 
and I'm not sure it will right here tentacle I probably want to add some big one on top kind of curling and we can do this actually we can do this easy by selecting one of the tentacle and you know what let me hide all other stuff so it will speed up a little bit our geometry Okay, and I'm going to um, stop the tutorials and we'll just continue in the next one.